In Georgia's other Senate race, Democrat John Ossoff is looking to unseat Republican Senator David Perdue. Recent polls in this race show a virtual tie. Naima Abdullahi joins us to break down this competitive matchup. The numbers have been tight, Naima. The race between David Perdue and his Democratic rival, John Ossoff, is getting intense, heated back and forth for months. Long before the debates, they were debating, and none of the candidates are backing down. Two men divided. This work is so important. Can we take that? and run the score up. David Perdue relying on his years of experience with major corporations as a businessman and as a sitting U.S. Senator. This race is bigger than me. It's bigger than John Ossoff. John Ossoff, who has never held public office, saying it's time for new energy and fresh leadership, fiercely challenging Purdue's bid for a second term. I'm running in the closest Senate race in the country against incumbent Republican David Perdue. This is one of the most competitive Senate races in the country. These closely watched races are getting national attention as Democrats hope to capture the Senate majority for the first time since 2015 and both parties battle for control of the White House. We can't take another four years of Donald Trump. If you wanted a different result, you had to send a different kind of person to Washington. With Georgia now considered a battleground state, the polls are too close to call and the stakes are too high because of how much both Trump and Biden's campaigns have been investing into Georgia. Late last week, the heated back and forth, an example of how intense the race is getting. John Ossoff will say anything to hide his radical socialist agenda. Senator Perdue, look up from your notes and answer the question. And just days later, Perdue backed out of the final debate with Ossoff, calling him radical and lying to Georgians, Ossoff calling Perdue a crook, among other words, and it's quite possible we're in for more. He would be nothing but a rubber stamp for Chuck Schumer. You've continued to demean yourself throughout this campaign. Ossoff, the CEO of a documentary film company, rose to political prominence in 2017 when he ran against Karen Handel to fill Georgia's sixth congressional district race. Handel won that tight race in a runoff election. Purdue is endorsed by President Donald Trump and has been joining him at campaign rallies to build up momentum for his efforts in this tight re-election. And there is a third candidate running against John Ossoff and David Perdue, libertarian Shane Hazel, who has remained optimistic all along. If no candidate gets 50 percent or more tonight, there will be a runoff January 5th. All right, Naima, thank you so much.